Yeah, I thought second half was better than the first half in terms of the performance, but um, weren't necessarily where we needed to be in spells of that game. Um, still a bit of work to do, obviously sort of two and a half, three weeks to the start of the season, but yeah, some, some positive signs in terms of throughout both games over the weekend. And, uh, and as a weekend overall, it's been, it's been a brilliant weekend. Looks as though you're changing formations and trying things out. Uh, back three today. Yeah, I think it, you know pre-season is about looking at obviously the group of players that we've got in are a lot of new faces, and it's trying to make sure that we're playing to their strengths. Um, and you saw that today in terms of the just the physical sort of presence of some of the the players we had out there today is, which we know is needed in that National League North, and obviously has been part of our thinking in terms of who we've gone to recruit and, and what we've got in. So, um, yeah, slight different today, um, but we'll have a look at it for Wednesday for Cheltenham. You've also got alternatives, you know, certainly in the midfield, there are sort of five places if you include the wing-backs. Um, you seem to have already got you know, some alternatives to use. Again, you know, we've got eight games in August, go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. We know we'll probably pick up some injuries along the way, and it's important that they've got that understanding that different players can fit into different positions when needed. Um, and yeah, and I think we have got some players that are quite versatile as well that can play in a, a range of different positions. A couple of players not involved today, uh, presumably the Knox over the weekend, uh, or uh, you know, pre pre arranged uh, family arrangements that they've got. Yeah, so we've had um, obviously Tommy O'Sullivan sat out of today. Um, just he didn't even know I did it, but he just sort of was feeling his ankle um, during the game Friday. He actually landed on his back and thought it was that, but no, it's his ankle that was just playing up. Um, Tomo and Evan, similar scenario, didn't want to risk him. Um, uh, Simo still feeling his ankle, so there's no point again to sort of get him any minutes today. Um, so yeah, it was just looking at obviously the players that, that we had down here for the weekend to ensure that we just sort of balance up the minutes. Uh, Jason Pope played for an hour. Yeah, great to get Popey on the pitch. You know, obviously since he's come in, he's been a great addition to the squad, but we haven't actually had him in a competitive game. So didn't want to push him with 90 minutes today, but it was great for him to get about 60 minutes and, and I thought he looked good. Uh, new signing. Uh announced before yeah. the game today how did you feel he played yeah Simeon he's I think you saw again glimpses of what he's got you know, he's got great feet he's energetic he can get around the park he can compete and I thought he, he did really well in there with Keeney there'll be again competition for places in that respect because I think you've got two three of a similar nature and that's what we need you know we need competition all over the park so then you know people aren't turning up thinking well I know I'm going to play um, they're always going to have to stay right on their game to ensure that they get into that starting 11 and into that 16 even. Uh, Cinderford were the same standard, if I can put it that way, as Biddeford. Do you think there was improvement from Hereford between the two games? Yeah, I think it's always difficult pre-season. You know, the, the hospitality that Biddeford have shown us here has been absolutely superb. You know, really, really has. But, but the pitch is difficult and it has been really, really difficult to maybe implement everything we've wanted to in terms of what we've got out of it physically perfect in terms of some of the in possession football stuff then it's been quite tricky um, but yeah I think you know Biddeford and Cinderford are going to be pretty competitive in that south and west and looking ahead Cheltenham what, do you look at them or as you said to me the other the day it's just a question of what you're doing yeah look you kind of know a little bit about them in terms of what Duffo's done since he's been in there and obviously I know um, a few of the sort of coaching staff in there anyway um, so you're kind of aware of what they might do and how they might play but to be honest the focus is purely on us uh, in terms of f future acquisitions, has, has Tim got any irons in the fire that you're aware of? I don't know, you have to ask him, he's only over there. So, yeah, no, no we're, uh, we're not a million miles off, um, but like I've said since day one, I think when we came in in October, is if there's any players out there that can improve what we've currently got, we will always look to, to try and improve the squad. We don't want to just think that we're just sort of resting on our laurels. We're, we're always looking for improvements in every area of the game. So there is room within the budget to bring another signing in potentially uh, not necessarily room but you know in terms of how we'd have to work it with the, the current squad then you know that's why uh, that's why it's nice to have Tim to, to lean on from that perspective well well done today I hope you've Cheers. enjoyed the weekend and we'll see you on Wednesday yeah well thanks for hosting the quiz last night it was fully <laughs> entertaining brilliant Cheers, thanks you there. Cheers